Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here again with another motive, action, motivation, soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. We're going to be diving deep and talking about the characteristics that make the chosen one. Who exactly are these type of people and how come they became chosen and what are they chosen for? Stay tuned. Let's go straight to the video. The chosen ones are the type of people who always felt like they are different from everybody since their childhood, born in families where they feel like these are not their families. They are so isolated to the point that they start enjoying their own company. Most of the time what normally happens with the chosen ones is that they find themselves in situations that they might have signed before they came to earth. They signed a certain contract that they're going to be the ones who are going to allow their physical being in the human or physical world to be of service to the people of God or people of their own families or the bloodline. Basically, I believe it's the retaining of the ancestor that was once there and who did beautiful things. And now they want to proceed into breaking more generational curses so they can bring the natural fortune of this family and the inheritance of their forefathers so the somebody who's the chosen one they are much likely to be disliked by their own family the reason why is because when something is bad something is bad when something is toxic it is toxic with these people it does not matter who is doing the bad behavior or who is doing the bad action how many times or how long these bad behavior or this pattern of toxic behavior have been prolonged in the family as soon as they are aware of this they want to change it they will not want to participate and be part of this whole mediocre of what the family is participating in they are able to see some signs of not being genuine people who are not authentic in their identity people tend to feel as if they are being judged when they are in the presence of these people because obviously the body um, is also a form of communication. Sometimes we do think certain things about other people or other situations and it will show outside your face or on your face that's actually or your body language that you are not, you know, settled by what you're seeing. You are not like happy with what you are what you are observing or what you're experiencing. People will feel as if these people are seeing through them. It's almost as if they did a particular study of human behavior. They know how people behave. They know when somebody's lying. They know how to feel other people's energies. They can tell that you're not okay before you confess with your own words that you are not okay. Their isolation somehow works as a form of training. When they are by themselves most of the time, there's a lot of training and downloads that come from the sun itself. Uh, if people who know that we are in Zarelanga or the children of the sun, they will know why I'm saying what I'm saying. But these are the type of people who are very intelligent. They are here to undo a lot of things that might have been created, some certain systems that might have cre been created in our societies, in our families, that are not benefiting the bloodline of our own generation. So they are coming to twist and change and pull and push where they need to push so that they can, they can make sure Uguti. There are certain generational curses that are going to be broken. There is this long thread of rope that might have started back in the days which was toxic and now it is coming back as umkoka to the family. So now this thing has to be broken so that it comes to an end. So it depends which what a person is gifted with. Are they gifted with just fixing their families or are they gifted with really like influencing the world at large with their existence, with the work that they do, with the art that they have, with the skills and creativity that they produce? It could be in many ways. Some people, they are able to heal other people or be of great influence to other people's lives by just playing a string of guitar or by just uh, producing a certain sound that has healing effects. Or some people, they do visual art. There's a lot of things that chosen ones are gifted with chosen ones are always artistic they are always creative there's always something that connects them to their source when they do it and it is always beautiful that's another sign of being the chosen one the chosen ones are the people who are very good when it comes to memorizing things that have happened in the past these are the people who have very early memories of themselves of their lives they have memories that are as early as from the age of two 
sometimes the age of three years, they have this memory because of a reason. And the reason is their life purpose requires them to know who's who in their spaces so that they can always know how to perform their life journeys purpose, which is to break generational curses and to make sure that they change things around in their families, in their bloodline for the better. We have to also acknowledge the fact that in families we do have light workers and people who are also generational curse keepers. These people are unaware that they are what they are and so they come back to give the challenge to the one who's the chosen one so that their life also does not become easy as they attempt to break toxic patterns that might have been participated in in this family for a lengthy period of time. They came to change things around. That is why they are not liked a lot and they find it hard to relate and to feel belonging within their own families. The chosen one's memory really help them to grow up when they know better about who they are dealing with. They know their parents more than their parents think they know them. They know about family secrets that might have taken place back in the days that most people have managed to sweep under the rug. The, the chosen ones still have the memory of those happenings. They remember who's who in their families, both the old and the young. These are the type of people who are very authentic. They survive in the, the indoctrination that might have taken place from their childhood that many people go through. The system makes sure Uguti Abandu Baya Jovwa that they're going to lose they, you lose the link that is that you that you came in a physical plane with from the spiritual realm and so when you lose that you kind of lose touch of how to connect with your higher god or your higher self within that is why in a later stage you'll find that people need to go through such things that are called shadow work they need to go through therapy and counseling and go and face their childhood trauma and face the things that might have happened in the past and relive the experience so they can see it with the eyes of an adult so they can see what, what was happening didn't have to happen it was not normal but because they were still children they were innocent they didn't know what was happening and so they thought it's okay you grow with that behavior and thinking that bad things are okay that are being done to you or that are being said to you by the people who claim they love you or people who are closer in your inner cycle so the chosen ones they know how to distract all those walls of destruction people who are abusive within families they don't know how to keep hush when they see things falling apart something always drive them into fixing the situations and fixing the problems because that is in their dna it's written in their blood that they must be of service for the people of god and even their own families sometimes so they can break the cycles and some people you find Wuti, they are the chosen ones but they do not have a, a relationship with their families where they were born from not because they dislike them or hate them but because they have outgrown those people so now their assignment is to create a family of their own that's gonna show a symbol or that's gonna that's gonna lack all the toxic patterns and behaviors and generational curses that come from where she stems from or where he stems from so they need to make sure that they break the cycle and they create new systems that are for the better for the generations and the offsprings who are going to come after them so that is why you will find that my chosen ones are not liked a lot they don't know how to turn a blind eye when they see something that is wrong. They don't know how to keep harsh when they see something falling apart. They always feel like there is somebody who needs to do something. And if no one comes and present and avail themselves, they will avail themselves as the problem solvers because that's one of the beautiful skills that they have. Chosen ones are the problem solvers. And talking about problem solving, there's this tendency that the chosen ones tend to show when they adore you and they love you so much and you present some situations and difficulties to them like in a conversation it might not even be that deep but the chosen ones once they care for you once they adore you and they bring you closer into their life in a cycle they're gonna want to solve your problems with you they start viewing people's lives that they care for as if they are the projects that they have or some sort of hobbies that they can always throw in something that can benefit the people that they claim they love or that they they, they care for like genuinely care for so 
sometimes some people don't find it irritating that every time when you have a conversation with somebody the next thing you see they are making some calls or they are doing something to fix your problem only to find Wakona only wanted to vent and share you know with a friend or with the sister or with whatever the relationship you might be having with the chosen one chosen ones are known to be problem solvers it's in their nature to be that way sometimes they just can't help it when they care for things and they believe so much in what is happening they want to participate in making sure that it comes right so they have this leadership also that they were born with they can make good leaders it's just that they choose not to because chosen ones love people but they don't like them <laughs> you can love somebody you can love people and want and want the best for them but you don't want to be with them you don't want to spend time with them because people tend to drain the chosen ones people who are fake especially people who are still in search of their truth who don't know who they are who are still naive who think inside the box they drain the chosen ones they bore them chosen ones are the type of people who like to talk about controversial topics they want to touch on the things where people are not supposed to touch like in terms of conversation they want to dive deep and stretch the surface in that level they are not somebody who is like somebody who dives deep into your thoughts and you think about things and you question stuff things like you question religion you question the leadership you question god himself these are the type of people who are like that that they want to come on top of the truth whether it is bitter or sour or sweet they need to know the truth at all times that is why they dislike people who are fake they don't like people who are fake they have a radar that can sense people who are fake they know who's who as you walk approaching towards them before you even say a word with your lips they know who's who because they can sense other people's energies it's either you're feeling them up or you are draining them and the more ignorant you are the more inside of the box you are the more you are this person who follows the rules and do what you said you don't question anything the more you are not going to be a type of a person who's going to get along with the chosen one because they just can't deal with people who are having two eyes but yet they're blinded the chosen ones are very spiritually awakened people they are aligned with their path they know who they are they know what they came here to do they are always doing that they care less about materialistic things some of them they attain them very easily like it's one of those things but they don't praise beautiful houses and cars and fancy clothes it's not something that they praise the lord they care about what is within a person so the chosen ones they do know would see each and every challenge they go through it came to make them better they have seen this happening over the period of time so now there comes a point where they get comfortable and they're used to it that is why you'll find that the chosen ones are also the same people when they're going through difficult times they will not want to be around many people they want to make sure Uguti, with their negative energy they stay indoors and lick their wounds and fix themselves until they are fine because they know Uguti energy can be transferred they don't want to transfer their negative energy to anyone and they don't do anything to other people that they don't want done to them but unfortunately not everybody is enlightened with such information so they always tend to find themselves being drained and being over overpowered by other people's situations and problems those who bring their problems to them because they are good with advices as well so it's so hard not to go to them for advices when you're going through some challenges in life but in all in all amateurs and ones they go through challenges that are shaping them for the better each and everything that happens that is bad uh, when, it, when it happens to the chosen one somehow somewhere it is really strengthening the spiritual field or in a spiritual level so there's nothing that happens for them that is not worthy whether good or bad whatever experience they go through it is needed for them to grow and reach to a next level of life these people are very curious they are always learning but more than anything they are natural healers they can have a conversation with you about something that is bothering you and you can become okay they are always in search of the truth they always know that what matters the most is humanity and humility first then other things will come after those ones are the type of people who can see through things most of the time they choose not to be vocal about what they see and their findings but they use them in their favor so that they can protect themselves so they can know who's who in their space those are the chosen ones the characteristics of the chosen ones i hope that this video did find you in a good space and if you're coming for the first time don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you can know when we upload a new video so thank you so much for staying tuned in until next time love and light